Hello and welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today I'd like to talk to you about how would I invest $1,000 in crypto if I had to start a crypto portfolio from scratch. And I do a alternative crypto portfolio, so basically without Bitcoin in it. The reason for that is that I believe Bitcoin is great. Absolutely, I'm invested in Bitcoin as well. But if you only have $1,000 to start with to get a profitable um, portfolio, I would probably not put Bitcoin in there if you're after um, really good gains. But by all means, I'm not a financial advisor. So this is only my personal opinion how I would do it. Please don't do it as financial advice. Um, don't use it as financial advice. I recommend that you always do your own research. That is very important, especially with crypto. And before we start, please, please, if you want, if you find any value in that video, please subscribe to the channel. I believe we are all in here for the same thing. We all want to spread the word about crypto, cryptocurrencies like Cardano, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum and other ones. So we need to make the public aware about this. I mean, we are all in it here. We all know about it, but there are so many people who have no understanding about crypto. So the more channels there are, the more we can spread the word, the better. So please leave a subscribe and also a like. So I'd like to talk about some alternative crypto investments, because as I said, when starting with $1,000, I would probably not invest in Bitcoin at the moment. I possibly would, um, you know, to have a safe sort of haven and investment, um, even though Bitcoin is still, you know, risky and volatile. But um, this is all about, you know, giving you a bit of inspiration, thinking a bit differently. And I'd also like to show you some alternative investment possibilities. Um, also, the Bitcoin price has gone up drastically already, as you all know. So the, reper the returns compared to other crypto coins are possibly lower. So the first cryptocurrency I would invest in is Ethereum. Um, I would put $350 into Ethereum. Ethereum, you know, must not be missing, also not in an alternative portfolio. ETH is still the second largest crypto and is established now for many years. It also shows still a very large growth potential, especially with the current price of 1700 roundabout. Um, it shows a really good growth potential also for smaller investors. It's also still very much future oriented due to ETH 2.0, even though the current mechanism is a bit aged, but I'm convinced that we will see 10,000 to possibly 15,000 in the not too distant future, maybe even this year. And from our 1,000 that we have to invest, we will take 350 so that we have a foundation. Then we get to number two and number two for me it's definitely Cardano. As you know, on this channel, I talk a lot about Cardano and ADA. I would put $150 into Cardano. Cardano, as you possibly know, it is a um, called sort of Ethereum killer. It's not rolled out yet. It's a platform on which smart contracts can be run. Um, they're currently rolling out their smart contract implementation that is supposed to be finished in September or even August this year and it's all going well but what you can't forget must not forget you can't run smart contracts on Cardano at the moment only in the test phase but still because this project has so so much potential and the team behind it is just great there are positive news every day every every week um, they pretty much get it right all the time the first time because they have a scientific approach to it a very systematic approach to implementing their solution but basically, if you look at the entire roadmap of Cardano, we are only really halfway through. But still, I would put $150 in there. Now, the number three is VeChain. So where is VeChain at the moment? VeChain is number 22. VeChain, I put in there, I'd like to put $250 in there. And the reason I do that is, I will probably have to do a separate video on VeChain, but the support that they have is just amazing. You know, they're, they're sort of backed by one of the world powers, which is China. Um, China is basically backing VeChain. It's very popular in China. Um, the use cases, there are so many use cases about um, VeChain. You know, companies like BMW are interested, uh, Louis Vuitton. There's so many healthcare applications, um, the healthcare industry and so on. And the use cases are 
massive and incredible. VeChain is very safe in my opinion. It is pretty much there already. I don't think there's any sort of risk that this will not, um, you know, that will not be adopted. I believe this has so much backing um, by the industry and also by uh, the government of China that it's just basically quite safe. Um, also, only good news are coming out about VeChain. I don't haven't really heard anything negative in the recent past, um, and also in the um, in, in the more distant past, I haven't really seen any negative news about VeChain. Um, and it's all going really well. It's a great team as well. It's a great, as I said, great use case. I think adoption will happen. I believe it will take over the world, and um, I strongly believe it will be above one dollar in the next five years. Currently, we are looking at seven cents here and also i think you know supply chain management will be taken over by vchain it will be established worldwide um and yeah i'll put 250 dollars into vchain so now we've put um four five six seven hundred fifty dollars in there so number four for me is iota there you go there is iota um and i think again iota i think is definitely the future Number 40 by market cap at the moment, 75 cents. IOTA could be, I think there is no alternative at the moment. I think it's the future in this world. AI is the future, you know, um, artificial intelligence, crypto is the future. And together, taking this together, you know, you, you basically get IOTA with the connection of everything, you know, the internet of everything. And this is all about integrating everything to smart homes, uh, allowing your car to speak to your coffee machine at home. When you get home from work, the coffee is prepared already because it's all connected, everything is connected. And because there is so much interest basically in every industry about this, um, I believe this is happening. There are also already so many companies adopting this and working together with IOTA. Um, I think I've heard SAP, uh, Volkswagen are interested. Um, Fujitsu, so many companies, you know, big, big, big companies that are in there. And um, yeah, IOTA would for, would be for me the next $150. All right, what else do we have? Let's get to number five. And for number five, we are taking Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens is on number 19. And Stellar Lumens, you know, we only have $100 left basically but the use case is very similar to Ripple as it is a split from Ripple, so to speak. And um, also the whole blockchain is based on Ripple. So basically it's actually a copy of Ripple, but the transaction speed is much more, well, faster than Ripple. It's more interesting um, because Ripple needs, I believe w around four seconds per transaction, 4.1 seconds, but Stellar Lumens can do it in around two seconds. So it's twice as fast. And I know that the entire Ukrainian government, they work actually together with Stellar Lumens to create a national cryptocurrency on the basis of Stellar Lumens and therefore also uh, in some way actually on the basis of Ripple. But again, crypto and um, payment systems, you know, that's the future as well. And um, crypto and generally the technical development, I believe so much of the technology, I think, you know, the the cryptocurrency projects where there is a lot of technology technology behind it a lot of innovation i think that that's what i really like and that's why i really like vchain i really like seller lumens i really like iota definitely also cardano and ethereum basically to have a little bit something more established in there so that's how i would invest one thousand dollars so to summarize i put 350 into ethereum then i put 150 in cardano which leaves a total of 500 then I put 250 in VeChain, which gives us 750. Then I put 150 in IOTA, which gives us 900. And then I put 100 in Stellar Lumens. That, that is how one way how I would build a $1,000 portfolio to start with, to get a profitable portfolio, which is a little bit alternative, um, but also not with too risky investments in there. These are projects which have a lot of backing, which have a lot of support, where there are really good use cases and where I personally believe in the team and in the project. I hope you liked that video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to support this channel, it would be great. Then please subscribe as well. Leave a like and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.